guys um so week uh two is pretty much um over um i just wanted to touch base with everybody and i hope um you had a really good um second week especially for those that were able to do some of your clinical um facilities and i was able to go visit um the club in melbourne and it was a joy to get in there and see the students interacting with um all of the elderly people um one tip that i wanted to give and i think this is something that i didn't mention um in class is that we got to make sure that when we talk to um the elderly population that we talk to them just like you would talk to somebody that's your same age um i found myself when i came into nursing school that i would do a lot of baby talk with them and yeah you know, that's something that they do not want they don't want to be treated like babies so just an FYI, if anybody has done it, but it's something that I caught myself doing a lot usually at the beginning. And I actually end up, sometimes do it even now. So I just have to remind myself, it's, you know, they're just like you and me, you know, it's not, you know, you don't have to change the tone of voice. The other thing is, I really like when we can actually get down to their level. If you're talking to somebody that is sitting on a chair, I usually like to kneel down next to them. That way we're kind of like uh, the same eye level. Same thing when we're in the hospital. I usually do that with all my patients. It's just natural for me now. But when I talk to them, I make sure that they're looking kind of like down at me. I guess usually kind of lean, um, kneel actually next to them in the bed. And that's how, you know, I talk to them. The other thing I wanted to just address really quick is the VA. So we know that we have a lot of veterans that are going to the VA for treatment. And one thing that we really, really need to be careful of is um, bringing any back any kind of memories uh, for PTSD, an example. So when you talk to the veterans, make sure that you are very conscious that many of them may have PTSD. And we don't want to ask any questions that may trigger symptoms like that. So asking them where they're from, where their kids are, what they they did um, you know how they like Florida things like that are really good conversation starters usually once you start doing that um, it kind of opens up the field and then you can start asking questions like so what branch of the military did you serve oh where were you stationed at you know things like that um, I think that opens it up really well for them so next week we are going to be having class on Wednesday and we're also going to be having of course clinical rotations so I hope that again everybody that had the rotations were able to enjoy them and know that I'm here um, by phone by text hopefully you guys have been getting my text back really quick um, by email and if you have any questions please please feel free to, um, to contact me I hope and do enjoy your weekend make sure you take some time for yourself um, that way you know you can wake up on Monday morning and be ready for the next week of nursing school have a great evening bye